Okay, so Fab Ali and later India are ethnic wear brand. Both of them solve for one problem, how to democratize fashion for the Indian woman. Fab Ali does it in the Western wear category and India does it for the modern fusion ethnic wear category. Uh, the reason why both brands are so successful at this point and how why they're scaling up so rapidly is that we are very, very consumer focused. Uh, everything that we do on design, on, on marketing, on distribution is led by what the consumer is, talking, uh, is telling us about what they want to wear and, and where they are heading. And we keep an umbrella of the Indian woman, like we keep her in mind always. We are always thinking about what is the occasion that she's going to be wearing this, what age group is she, where does she live. So a lot of data mining and a lot of very uh, analytical, insightful uh, planning goes into our collections and hence both brands are scaling up rapidly. I think for us, uh, of solving this problem of uh, affordable fast fashion for Indian women, for Indian women by Indian women is, is what we're doing. <clears throat> lot of brands in the country that are international that are uh, you know not led by globally uh, you know by globally what's happening around the world what the modern woman is wearing we do that we look at what's happening around the world and we bring it to, to indian women in ways that they are comfortable that that suit their you know aesthetic and and i think that's what really sets us apart and even in terms of distribution what we do differently is that we are not really uh, stuck on a channel we are very agnostic in terms of our distribution we feel that we need to be everywhere our you know everywhere that we are relevant to our customers so whether that is online whether that is in departmental stores whether that is uh, <clears throat> in our own stores we're doing a, the whole you know gamut the entire uh, bouquet of uh, distribution for our customers keeping their uh, behavior and shopping patterns in mind what would I tell them? So many things. One, I think it's a great time to start up. Like uh, the business environment is friendly. Uh, incorporation is not as challenging as it used to be uh, maybe a decade ago. The other thing I would tell them is to have a clear idea of what, like, you know, a very clear vision of what they want and yet be flexible enough to pivot. And, and that would come if they constantly listen to where, you know, what consumers are saying, whether, you know, whatever their end consumer uh, is, whether it's B2B, B2C, wherever the direction is, you know, <clears throat> wherever they're seeing like sizable traction, that's where they should head and not give up.